another flip through and review for you. This time I receive an exchange for my honest review, Biology for the Logic Stage from Elemental Science. This is a neutral science that is a classical method. So if this is something that might work for your family, stick around and I'll show you all inside. back friends if you're brand new to my channel my name is Arlene with Arlene and Company as I said before I have a flip through and review for you guys this is from elemental science biology for the logic stage this follows a classical method so if you're not familiar with classical method know that it's different stages that is a very simplified version of it um, if you're interested in learning more about the classical method and resources that follow that um, genre <laughs> that's what I call it like genre but no it's just like uh, educational philosophy um, then go ahead and pick up the well-trained mind if you have Haven by Susan Weisbauer, and that really kind of just summarizes everything for you and gives you a lot of ideas and resources. It's actually the first homeschool book that I purchased. Well, this is one of the recommended curriculas from the well trained, um, and the well trained mind. Know that this is neutral where it differs, like Biggie, um, with uh, just the strictly secular resources that things like evolution and things like that you would have to add to your study. Now, I know everybody has their own opinions here, or take just use whatever works for you. I'm just going to flip through this and show you inside for the families that this may work for. They have uh, a few courses. I selected the one to receive was biology because biology is going to be a good focus of ours this year, even though we're going to have a mixture. So I thought it would be great to have an extra resource on hand um, that was biology. So, and I really wanted, I was interested in seeing how this looked a step up of what we were used to in the lower um, elementary grades, which we had used the earth science one from elemental and we have used the Safra science adventures. We actually still own all those books as well. Um, but this is for your middle school range and then rhetoric being the higher level so and grammar if you're looking for elementary and then you'll find the same topics so what's really cool about this um, let me just point out some some housekeeping here is if you're teaching multiple ages and you have kiddos in different stages like grammar and um, you know let's say you have rhetoric or grammar and logic stage then you can pick like bio um, bio or you can pick um, the same topic and match them up for both levels, right? And then you have resources and literature that is for the lower grades and then you have for the higher grades with their individual student guide that works together. So it could be very simple to blend it if you have um, several kiddos in different stages. So know that you can find the same topic, the same science topic in those different levels. Um, she also has an online um, base where there's extra you know suggestions resources and things like that so make sure you check that out so let's start here with the logic stage um, biology you get the teacher guide and student guide that is your complete curricula now you can opt to get the full uh, bundle uh, which is the book bundle will come with oh encyclopedia this thing is heavy this is the king fisher science encyclopedia and that is used for um this year and the usborn science encyclopedia with a qr link so i'm going to show you what that all is um in a little bit because this is a really cool thing if you have not seen that before because it just gives you an extension of over a thousand internet links along with that so that is written into your curricula um, in your schedule so you can get the bundle that includes the book and you can get the bundle that includes the science kit as well so if you're not for having to gather science applies and things like that one of the cool things about elemental science um, and Sassafras too is that you can buy the science kits directly from them it's not gonna have absolutely everything you're gonna need but you probably just will need to gather a few household items and things like that um, so know that you can get that complete bundle so I did receive the complete bundle that includes the science kit and I will show you what that is inside as well I was not prepared for the frog inside. I don't know why, because it's biology. I should have known. I mean, I'm a science major, <laughs> but um, I was not prepared for it. I opened and, and there was a preserved frog, but yeah, we're gonna have fun with that. Anyway, here is your student guide and teacher guide. Let's look at the teacher guide first, just so it makes more sense in contents. So your teacher guide, this is divided into units. Know that you have the book list, 
which is has the require list and then some extra um, optional books that you may um, want to add and materials listed by um, by the week. Now this is, if science is not your strong suit, um, this is very scripted. Now you don't have to follow the script just as is. You can go AWOL and do whatever you like, but no, this is very scripted for those families that just feel not so sure about teaching science. It's very lined up for you, makes it very easy to uh, plan and kind of just open and go pretty much. Um, so here you have unit one is going to be bi um, biological building blocks and unit two is going to be plants. Unit three is going to be invertebrates. Unit four is vertebrates. Then um, unit five, animal overview. Unit six, human body. And then your year end review and then some extra resources and templates at the end of this book. Um, so you can see it's just an overall like catch all for biology. So not just, you know, focus on zoology or whatever not is it's bio. So um, there is some areas that we really want to focus on this year. So I'll be happy to be able to pull from this resource as well. Now, as I said before, I use curricula as a resource, things to pull from just because that's who I am and I have to read, do everything. But you can definitely use this just so as. Here you're gonna have the hands-on inquiry, the information, the writing, the writing and the science project. There's gonna have some internet links and things like that that you're going to um, be able to investigate and do for. And then you're gonna have the student assignment sheets, experiments and guide and things like that. And this just kind of tells you everything um, that you need to know. Um, vocabulary and memory work, because this is classical, there is it's going to be memory work that's something that i always skipped because i just do <laughs> and then there is some writing assignments and some you know you, uh options of how you can do this like option one have the student write an outline for the spine text option two have the students write a narrative summary from the spine text and option three have the students write both an outline and a written report so it depends on your kiddo maybe you're teaching an eighth grader so you want to give them a little bit more oomph and more um complexity to their um assignments so that is something that is provided and listed out for you you have the so Usborne science encyclopedia that is going to be your main spine and the kim Fish um, the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia. Then you have some other resources as well that is listed that you can go ahead and investigate further. You have some um, discussion questions, your want more, so opportunity to extend your lessons, your tests um, as well, and um, you have your schedule split into different formats, which I'm going to show you in just a bit. Um, this is like with a five day a week schedule and then you have like, uh, I think it's five and two days, um, if I'm not mistaking, um, that you can see. Yeah, so you have a two days a week schedule, what it looks like and how you would break it down. I'll show you that how that looks like in a schedule. And if you wanna do science all days of the week, if you wanna do science three days a week, then you can kind of just look at, um, um, at the schedule and move things around a little bit to go from there. So you have the assignments, the experiment equipment that you will need um, for throughout this year so you know exactly what you have to have on hand, some safety advisory course and things like that. You have some microscope information, maybe you don't own one yet, we do. Um, we love our microscope, we've had it for a while. I really like um, that mine's like a dual function because it has um, still has a stage and everything that you have to manipulate and the lenses, but you have a digital display. So it's a, bit, a best of both worlds and I wanted my kiddos to know how to use the traditional old fashioned one, all right? So you have a material list week by week. You're going to have 35 weeks of lessons in this course. So that's gonna span you over a school year and you can stretch that out as ever you need, however you like. The biological building blocks is your first unit. You're going to have the sequence of the study. It's going to break it down for you, what you're going to do in each week so you can plan ahead. And if you're someone that likes to add to your studies and do your own thing, you know exactly what to looking ahead. So the sequence of the study, for example, week one cells, DNAs, genetics, classification, nutrient cycles, and week um, it's going to tell you the materials by the week. So this again, this is your teacher guide and you can look at this right ahead. So like, you know, there's nothing crazy. Microscope, slides, cover slips, onion skin, celery stalk. So onion skin and celery, you're probably gonna have to um, grab that, right? It's not gonna come in a kit for you. But um, 
you'll see in the science kit all the other goodies and things like that that it comes in that you're going to have the vocabulary for the unit because this is going to be listed in their student guide which i'll show you in just a sec and then you have the answers right on here of what the vocabulary for that unit is you have the memory work for the unit which is um, divisions of life and you have it all listed on here there's a, um, a mnemonic that can help with memorization those are also listed throughout i do like those I don't do the memorization type of things, but I do like the mnemonic devices to learn these important concepts. I'm not saying that memorization is not important, it's just something that we don't do. Um, then here, um, the five kingdoms and their basic characteristics and all that jazz. So everything is kind of outlined and spread out for you. So if you're a big planner person, you have it all laid out for the entire unit for the next five weeks of what you need to gather and prepare for. You can write right on here any notes or any um, things that you would like to do. All right, so on here you will see week one. So this is how your plants will look. look like. Here's your material. Here's the procedure. Any notes for the instructor that they want to do. It, it tells you step by step what to do. Like you're gonna slide the microscope on the Draw what you see for each. And then it's gonna spell it out for you. So the vocabulary and memory work, that is gonna be listed on here for you. Um, so for the vocabulary for this week is cell and mitosis. The memory work is also gonna be listed on this um, part. And then sketch, which let's take a look at week one in the student um, in the student guide. This same week on the unit, you're gonna see this. It says unit one introduction to ecology. Define the following terms as they are assigned in the student book. So they're all put together in the same page, so they can flip back to it as they go over it in the unit. So here's the week one. It spells out if especially if your kiddo is um, self-directed and you can go ahead and tell them, okay, set up your, um, your microscope and set up this um, slide and they can go ahead from you while you work with younger kiddos or whatever or not. And then you have the vocabulary work, the writing and everything I talked about. Here is the sketch where um, they can um, identify the different parts of the cell and all that jazz. Um, here again is the experiment. It's going to have that scripted like to help them out to how to set this up of documenting that experiment, the writing, the do part, and um, like the hypothesis, the materials that they use, how to make a wet mount slide is going to instruct them right on here. The procedure and the observations are going to be right here and then they can write a written conclusion. Now if you're someone that has some, them use their own notebook for this, then you can totally do that, but know that this it would, could be right there science notebook that they can do whatever they need to do because it's all laid out for them here's you're going to have the discussion questions here's where i would say maybe a separate notebook is handy because maybe your kiddo has a lot to say or maybe they just need more room to answer all these questions and the nice thing about the discussion questions is if they uh for some reason forgot that section it's gonna tell them um, what pages to look at for plant cells to refresh their memory of where they can find this information that is being asked of them so here again is the space for the written assignment for week one and then you go into your following week we'll take a closer look in just a second of that so here's date to enter again this is a neutral science instead of strictly secular so know that the dates are going to be listed as bc and ad um, so if that's something that you know um, affects your decision i just wanted to make sure to point that out and be fully transparent um, schedules for week one they have it listed and pre-done for you in a two-day schedule or a five-day schedule Five days is quite a bit, but some families do have that many days. I can tell you that we do science pretty much four days a week, but it's like a mixture. <laughs> so it's a little bit different. So know that um, if you're following this to the T, it's going to be written out for you. Day one, you're going to do this. So if you're going to squeeze it into two days, you can decide if you're going to do all of it or just parts of the, um, the assignments. If you're going to do all of it, it's all written out. So define the cell and mitosis and the student guide page 14. It's going to direct you exactly where to look. You're not going to be hunting or anything like that. Do the what do plant cells look like and then you can refer to this part right here 
and know that that's what you need to do. And then it continues. Here's the supplies you need, again, listed out for you. So maybe this is something that you list as a reference um, somewhere and post it up somewhere. Um, you have it right on there as well. Day two it tells you what else to do. And then here is spread out over five days versus the two day schedule and know that every week is gonna follow exactly that. So you have additional information. Um, here, the notes, experiment information, introduction, how to make a, uh, a wet mount slide. My kiddos love doing that. The discussion questions that we talked about. And here's the sketch assignment in week one. So here's the one that they're going to be um, doing the diagram and listing out what, um, what each part is. So here's the answers to that. Um, here is that section we talked about want more. So if you want more, you can, for example, purchase a prepare slide of animal or plant cell and have the students look at it and under the microscope. We have a set of like a hundred slides, a prepare slide, actually more than that because I have a couple of kits. And um, that is something that my kiddos spend another hour just looking at different slides. Um, and then here's an additional um, activity that they can do. Um, and then that goes uh, yeah. and reference and you can see there's all kinds of diagrams for the anatomies and things like that. Maybe you're someone that doesn't want to do the physical um, dissection and things like that. Then, you know, you have alternatives of things you can look at. So let's look at a unit test. Um, so for example, here is the answers and here is what a unit test will look like. So you have the vocabulary matching, you have a true or false, you have um, short answers here, and then um, that continues on from there. So then here will give you an idea of what you're looking for with the short answers, and obviously the multiple choice questions and stuff like that is gonna be specific. Um, and then it ends here with your um, human so anatomy. There is a timeline um, that is on the beginning of their student guide, and you there's dates that they can go ahead and enter. Now, if you have a book of centuries, maybe they want to put that in there instead, but know that that's there listed for them, that they can put those dates in. Um, want more? Like if your kiddos really like the dissection part. So here, for example, purchase a sheep spring dissection kit and then complete uh, the dissection report. And then there's a report in the appendix that they um, can have a bottle of it of how to complete a report. So the activity doesn't just stop at just like um, a microscope um, activity or things like that. It does go into like research reports, I saw an opportunity where you can go ahead and add um, resources or additional resources on evolution and things like that and have a, a good focus on that um, and, you know, explore that end of it. So here is um, the appendix where you have your year end test. That's not what I want to show you. Um, but you have the urine test there. So especially at the middle school age, I really do feel it's important to get them into the practice of knowing how to, um, you know, take tests. Um, that's something that's important to me. It may not be for everyone, but I do think it's important for um, our family. So um, because we have, you know, that college track in mind that they are comfortable taking tests, um, even if like, you know, their whole thing doesn't depend on it. It's just a good thing. In the back, you'll notice that it says reading assignments for younger students, and then it'll have the specific encyclopedia like DK, First Human Body Encyclopedia, and that is specific for a younger audience, and there also is a link as well to um, read more information on that, and it's listed out with the actual pages that are and assigned to your kiddo. So it's not just like, here's a resource and figure it out um, for younger students. It actually lists out the actual page numbers um, for for your younger kiddos because everything is listed out with the older kingfishers and things like that um, that is for a little bit older audience you have some worksheets in the back and you have some templates um, if you need for two days a week schedule for yourself microscope um, worksheet you have that and um, dissection report is the one we talked about. Just to give them a guidance of how like to structure it, you can have that on. Bit of a quick look 
Um, we already looked at a lesson in here. This is gonna mirror exactly your teacher guide with the unit so they can follow along just the same. You have um, your letter to the students, just kind of introducing them, you know, ask a question, do some research, formulate a hypothesis, a test with experimentation, um, you know, and just kind of like just breaking down, you know, record and analyze the scientific method, draw a conclusion and so on, and just giving them a good introduction into biology. If they haven't had like any formal biology or type of these courses, that is their opportunity. So here is their timeline. You can use this or your book of century or whatever you have. Um, it's all can be encompassed system right here. Um, as I said, here's that week one. And just to give you a quick little overview, the diagrams and, you know, they don't have to draw it from scratch. And maybe you have an artistic kiddo that does want to draw it from scratch, then you can just switch that up. Um, but it's all provided right in here for you. And then they have their own appendix here where you have memory work by the unit. So here, for example, the memory work of the first one is the divisions of life, then five kingdoms and their basic characteristics, and then the plants, um, the parts of a flower, invertebrates, vertebrate, animal overview, the human body, and you know what they would be working on in each unit of what um, the memory work would be. Um, here is an activity log in the appendix as well, and you have quite a few of those, and then a glossary there if they can I'll forget any of the terms that they've been learning or reading about. It's um, a few of them are listed in here as well. So that is the main components of the curricula. Let me just give you a quick look at the encyclopedias, which are your, basically your textbook, your main spine. So your readings and things like that are gonna be coming from that and plus whatever additional literature you choose to add. So this is the Kingfisher Science Encyclopedia. This thing is massive, it's huge. Um, it's a Kingfisher, I always feel like it's directed a little bit more older audience, so I totally agree that this would be a perfect combination for middle school aged kiddos. Um, here, are we in frame? There we go. Um, just so you can get a good idea of everything that's in here, it's quite a bit. Um, obviously, this is the Encyclopedia of Science, not just biology, so you're going to have a good mixture of things. Um, the pictures are nice and vivid, a lot of diagrams, but they're, Kim Fisher's knowing to have more text in it. It's like a little bit more text heavy than getting like a DK. Um, encyclopedia, I've always found like the comparison between them. I love DK encyclopedias, but this one, the Kim Fisher's usually are a little bit more um, info text um, heavy, but you do still have really nice um, diagrams and things like that. But you, this is something that you can definitely use for many years because it's a combination of all your sciences. So that's the Kingfisher one that is listed as spine. Now this is with QR links. So this will take you throughout different studies um, for videos or different contexts and their internet link throughout. Um, I love the internet link ones. They're rad. <laughs> and there's um, a bunch of things that you can take this book with and do quite a bit with as well. So here, for example, like how liquids behave, it's not you know anything to do with that, but you would just scan this um, QR code and it will take you to, um, for this, ex uh, scan the code for the experiment about the surface tension. So they can see an experiment on hand, they can see videos to go along with it, they can watch um, you know video clips, um, or experiments, they can watch, they can read additional literature on it, whatever not, it's just really cool. I actually freaked out my kiddos. Um, <laughs> I did this, I mean, they're being raised by a nurse, but still. Um, you have here a, um, the packing list that has um, everything that this kit has. Um, as you can see, it's quite a bit. It's not gonna have absolutely everything you need for the year. You're still gonna have to gather a couple things on your own that is something that cannot be sent or so but you have the experiment kit i did do the experiment kit um when i did another level when um when the kiddos were young um i definitely found it super helpful if i don't have to go buy supplies i'm totally happy about that here you'll see the frog dissection kit that's in here and it goes through all the steps of how to do it um so you can do it with your kiddo um alongside them or you can do the demonstration, depending on how comfortable your children are. Um, so you see there's just like randomness. 
that you probably won't know until you get to that specific uh, report. Here's our deer frog. He's preserved really well. <laughs> but um, they have quite a bit of supplies here that you're going to need. And it's always like these random little things when it comes to science experiments. We all know this, right? Um, but it has like the fabric. They have all kinds of stuff. Um, here you have a pocket test thermometer. And these are all things that are going to come up in the, within the unit um, as well. Um, and here's like food coloring and things like that. So these are experiments that you're going to have everything or you're going to have a lot of the stuff that you need. All right, friends. So that's all for now. I wanted to give you another option to look at if you're still looking for science and this is something that would work for your family. Um, just let me know if you have any specific questions. I'm happy to answer them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe and thank you so much for hanging out with me. Thank you again to Paige Hudson Elemental Science for sending this our way for our review.